Hello and welcome to the John Ark Show. Today's episode is called Violent Real Estate Price Drops. Before we begin, I want to encourage you to subscribe to our channel for free. You can also like, comment, and follow us. We're going to have a lot of great celebrity interviews coming up, so make sure to click on that notification bell so you can be notified every time we upload a new episode. Also, we ask that you post a link to today's show on all your social media to help spread the word. Now, let's get started. A growing number of real estate insiders are now speculating that the real estate space is heading towards violent price drops. They feel that the continued increases in interest rates will cause such violent drops in real estate prices that it will shock the marketplace and buyers and sellers, both in the residential and commercial market. So how violent do the insiders believe that these price drops will be? Many of them believe that the price drops will be at least 80 to 90 percent of the of the value of these properties. But it gets worse because there is a growing belief that once these real estate prices collapse, there will be no financial mechanism or competitive buying in place to drive the prices back up in the near future. Why is that? Because to drive the values of these commercial and residential real estate properties back up, you need buyers with the financial ability to make money off of them or to inhabit them. But there is now growing belief that with the economy declining as aggressively as it is, but there is a growing belief that with the economy declining as aggressively as it is, it is the financial weakening of buyers that will continue for the foreseeable future that will create this ongoing problem. And if you can't sell them these properties, they will just continue to languish on the market for years to come. Does that mean that a lot of people will be able to purchase these properties for dramatically reduced prices in the near future? Some will, but only if they can pay cash. People who need a mortgage will be more restricted in their ability to buy because of high rates. It does mean that a lot of uh, sellers with homes they can't unload uh, will have to finance them with a land contract. That may be one of the few ways to sell them. But here's the problem. When somebody wants to purchase your home on a land contract, it usually means their credit is so terrible that the banks consider them to be an extremely high risk um, individual and they don't want to loan to high risk, super high risk individuals. That means if you do sell your house on a land contract to one of these people, there's a high probability they will default in the future and then you'll be stuck with it again. That means you will once again be responsible for not only the home's mortgage payments, but also uh, the other bills uh, uh, involved with the home. So what's the worst case scenario for a lot of these price collapse. Well, a lot of these homes will simply be unsellable at any price. That's because nobody can afford the high interest rates. And also because more insurance companies are now destroying the real estate market by increasing insurance premiums by up to 900%. Think about that. How many homeowners can afford to see their insurance rates go up by 9x? It's insanity. It's also one of the reasons that so many people are now leaving Florida, California and New York. The insurance companies have just gone ballistic in those places, but it gets worse. The violent price drops will also be fueled by massive increases in crime. Some neighborhoods will see their crime increase so severely that potential buyers will take one look at the neighborhood and just leave. Get out of Dodge. No one's going to buy in a situation like that. Once again, these homes will become unsellable. So when will these violent price drops begin? Well, Unfortunately, they have already begun. As we said, people are leaving Florida and California and New York and other states uh, for some of these reasons and for others. They're also deciding to rent instead of buy. Any way you cut it, the real estate sector is in for some very tough time. Get ready, people. It's going to be very difficult out there. Good luck. Thank you for watching. I want to encourage you to subscribe to our channel for free. You can also like, comment, and follow us. We're going to have a lot of great celebrity interviews coming up, so make sure to click on that notification bell so you can be notified every time we upload a new episode. Also, we ask that you post a link to today's show on all your social media to spread the word.